Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at Nasty Neighbors, published by Nastola Games. This is a two to five player game where you're trying to be the last neighbor standing in your neighborhood. Let's go ahead down the table here. I'll give you a general idea how the game plays, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. <music> All right, so this is Nasty Neighbors. In Nasty Neighbors, you're going to try to be the last person that is living in this neighborhood. And how you're gonna do that is every person's gonna take these nerve pills. So here I'm gonna get three nerve pills in my color, so I get blue, and everyone else is gonna pick ones in their color. And you're gonna start off the game by dealing seven cards to each player. So I get seven cards here and on my turn I get one action so I can pick between playing a card from my hand or rolling that die so how this is gonna work let's go ahead and set up the rest of the game here so during the game you're gonna have three cards flipped over okay and you'll have your deck right here so I have my seven cards you're going to pick someone to go first. And at the start of my turn, I'm going to draw a card from this deck. And I'm going to pick one of these three cards, draw it, and put it in my hand. Uh, place the card back so it's set up for the next player. Now I have one action. Well, I can pick between two different things. I can either roll this die or take my one action. If I roll this die, if I get this symbol, I get one action. If I get this symbol, I get two actions. And if I get this symbol, I get no actions. Now this red is on two sides. This green is on two sides and this blue is on two sides. So you're gambling a little bit. So maybe I wanna push my luck a little bit and roll that die instead of take my one action. Now, if I take one action, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one of these cards and play it and resolve it. So this card right here says flooded apartment. Just another drip on the wall, attack, choose a neighbor and attack their nerves. So if you attack their nerves uh, and they don't have any cards to do, deal with it, they're going to have to lose one of these pills. So they'll have to take a pill to calm their nerves. If they run out of these pills, they're out of the game. Now, after I've played a card, so let's play, so let's say I played this card, this would go into this card pile. I would have to then pick one of the cards in my hand and discard it. If I don't have any cards in my hand, I don't have to discard anything. So that's the actions of the game. It's gonna go round and round and round until there's one person left standing with pills. Now, again, on your turn, you'll draw two cards, one from the top of the deck, one from here. You'll play one card or you'll roll this die. And if you get additional actions, you'll get to do them. If you get no actions, your turn passes. So you do have the option, like I said, to push your luck. You'll play one card from your hand if you have if you did the one action if you did the multiples then you get to play multiple actions so two actions if you won them and then like i said you'll discard one card at the end of your hand if you have one that's it that's the rules to nasty neighbors let's go ahead back up to the table here and i'll give you my final thoughts on this game Okay, so Nasty Neighbors, I probably lump almost into the party game category. This is going to be a game that you're going to bring out uh, with friends and families just to have a little bit of fun. It plays pretty quickly, so you can go through a lot of different games. And it has pretty streamlined, simple rules, so you can teach it to anyone and they can pick it up really quickly. Uh, I love how they added the components on there. There's simplified components with the, uh, the pills on there, so they're the little round discs. Those are really nice. I do like also the opportunity of rolling that die. So if you're falling a little bit behind and you're like, oh, I really need to you know, push my luck and see if I can play two cards instead of one card potentially on my turn to give me that little bonus. Maybe I could take the opponent out and win, uh, sort of like a pull behind thing or get closer to uh, being able to win the game and stuff. So I really like that option of being able to roll the die. In general, I probably think well, maybe some people would like to roll that die constantly, but uh, for me, most of the time, I'll be just playing the one card, and if I start getting in trouble, then I'll think about rolling that die, which I think is cool. I love all the different player uh, 
the cards that are in the game and, and all the different effects that they have. They're all pretty different and do different things. Uh, I like that the game plays pretty quickly and that you could play this several times in a night and, or at the end of a, a game session you could play this or you could play this at a family function where, you know, just in between talking and stuff you could just play a couple games of this. So if you're looking for that type of game uh, from what I explained in the overview or you're looking for fun like game, you know, to play uh, with friends and family uh, that's light, I would highly recommend checking out Nasty Neighbors. Thank you for watching.